1975. The Philippine Clean Water Act of 2004 or Republic Act Number no. 1975 aims to protect the country's water bodies from pollution from land-based sources like industries and commercial establishments, agriculture and community or households activities. It aims to prevent, reduce, and eliminate pollution in the nation's water in order to restore and maintain the chemical, physical, and biological integrity of the nation's waters. So, now that you know what our NA 2735 is all about, let's review what water pollution is, its causes, types, sources, and effects on human health and the environment. What is water pollution? It is a toxic water that cannot be drunk or used for essential purposes like agriculture and which also causes diseases like diarrhea, cholera, typhoid, and many more that kill more than 500,000 people worldwide every year. Water pollution can be caused in a number of ways. Some of the most common sources and causes of water pollution in the Philippines are runoff from agricultural operations, runoff and non-point source pollution, industrial activities, leaking sewers, and landfill leakage. What are the different types of water pollution? Pollutants can be of varying kinds. It may be organic, inorganic, radioactive, and so on. Say for example, chemical pollution, ground pollution, nutrient pollution, oxygen depletion pollution, and surface water pollution. The effects of water pollution. Deteriorating water quality is damaging the environment, health conditions, and the global economy. Some of the effects are destruction of biodiversity, contamination of the food chain, lack of potable water, and disease. Let us return to the discussion of RA 9275. The general provisions under Chapter 1 and Chapter 2 are Section 5, Water Quality Management Area Section 6, Management of Non-Attainment Areas Section 7, National Sewerage and Septage Management Program Section 8, Domestic Sewage Collection, Treatment and Disposal Section 9, National Water Quality Management Fund Section 10, the Area Water Quality Management Fund Section 11, Water Quality Variants for Geothermal and Oil and Gas Exploration And the last section, 12, is the Categories of Industry Sector What are the governing sectors in this app? Number 1 the Department of Environmental and Natural Resources, or DANR, it plans, develops, and improves how the quality of water body to a classification will meet its projected or potential use. It is the main head of this act. Second, the National Water Resources Board, or NWRB. It designates certain areas as water quality management areas using appropriate oceanographic units such as watershed, river basins, or water resources regions. And third, the Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources, or BFAR. It is responsible for prevention and control of water pollution for the development, management, and conservation of the fisheries and aquatic resources. The other governing sectors are the Department of Agriculture or DA, the Department of Science and Technology DOST, the Department of Interior and Local Government or DILG, the Department of Public Works and Highways or DPWH, and lastly the Department of Health DOH. Prohibited acts and fines. First is disposing of garbage into the water. Second, unauthorized transport or disposal untreated sludge or industrious waste into the seawater. Next is operating facilities that discharge controlled water pollutants without valid permits. Any person who commits any of prohibited acts must pay 10,000 pesos, no more than 200,000 pesos of everyday violation. Failure to undertake 
clean operation willfully or to negligence, imprisonment of not less than two years and not more than four years, a fine of less than 50,000 pesos and not more than 100,000 pesos per day for each day of violation. Failure which results in serious injury or loss of life and or contamination of water. Imprisonment of not less than 6 years and 1 day and not more than 12 years. And a fine of 500,000 pesos each day of violation. By 2025, half of the world's population will be living in water scarce regions. So, any drop of contaminated water today is an irreversible loss for future generations. Water resources must be managed in a sustainable way to protect our aquatic environment and its beneficial uses. Thank you for watching!